Welcome back, Joe from Mobile Mouse. Today we're going to look at creating your own stencil in Microsoft Visio. If you're a regular Visio user, then you're going to have the same issues as most others. You use various shapes from various stencils on a regular basis. Or you just simply don't have the shape you're after, so you have to draw it yourself. And you have to reuse this regularly. Microsoft have created a way where you can store those shapes in your own stencil. Stencils are files. Files are handled via the shapes task pane down the left hand side of your screen. When you click over here into the more shapes you'll see a menu appears revealing all the other types of stencils that are available. These are stencils that are available here in this version. I'm using Visio Professional. If you go to the bottom, you'll be able to see you can create your own new stencils, either in metric or imperial units. We're going to use metric today. You click onto this and it creates a new stencil. The stencil has a name. It can also be widened just by dragging here. Not that shape though. Actually dragging this section here. Out a little wider. And it now creates a stencil called Stencil 2. If you right click on here, these are the file properties that relate to a stencil file. Uh, we won't save ours just yet, we're going to put some shapes on there first. Let's go and create a unique shape. Today I'm going to create a hook. To do this I'm going to create a line. The line with a perfect straight line horizontally with the shift key held down generates a line here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that line just a little lower using the pointer tool. Then I have to go and turn on my next tool called the Arc Tool. Once the shape is on, if I move to here and wait for a second, this is called Extend Shape. With a little bit of a snap to the right, you can now bend a shape up to here. I'm now getting some sort of an arc. Can you see this becomes one continuous shape, what we call an open shape or a compound shape. If I now move to this point here with the Arc Tool still turned on, I can now bend this. If it bends the wrong way, simply press Ctrl Z to do the undo and now do another snap. Quite a quick snap is all that's required and you can see I'm trying to get this so that it snaps in and becomes one shape. If I click onto the pointer tool, this is now treated as one shape or a hook. I can only select the line itself. To be able to keep this shape for future use, I simply drag this onto my new stencil. If you drop quick shapes here, just into this section above the grey line, they automatically become part of the quick shapes selection, just above here. Quick shapes, see my shape will be here. If I go back to my stencil and drag this below the grey line, it will no longer appear in the quick shapes menu, you'll notice it's empty. So, this is a good way to be able to use the shapes from your own stencil on a regular basis by a applying them to the quick shapes section. Now to rename this I can right click on here, edit the master and it has its own master properties, this screen right here. In here I can call this a big hook and I can say this adds a big hook to your drawing. Full stop. Down the bottom here I can now put in keywords that are used by the search shape in the top left corner here. When I hit OK, this becomes a big hook. I want it to be into my quick shape, so I'll drop it just here. When I drag this back onto the screen, you'll see it keeps the same geometry of the shape as it was when it was first taken off. If I now reduce this down to about half its size, drag this on, I can now create another shape. Once again, you can rename this using the Edit Master, Master Properties. I'll call this one a Little Hook. I won't put a prompt in this time, but I can still use keywords. You can separate them with commas if you wanted to use other words. Hit OK. Now I can save my sting. Now I can name the, the location once I've found my shapes. I'm going to call this Joe's favorites and I'm going to hit the save button 
you'll notice it still has a red star here. If I right click on here, I can turn off the red star which called, is called Edit Stencil. Now, if I drag a shape on, it'll keep its geometry size. This is a big hook, that's a little hook. If I try dragging it back on, it now gives me a message saying it's a read only. Thanks for your time.